Hey kids, welcome to lesson six, user input and strings, part three, text input elements. So far you've been using the prompt num as a simple way to get numbers as inputs. Now that we know a little bit about strings, we're gonna create a user interface element that users can submit text or strings instead. The first and simplest example is text input, which we can find in design mode probably remember this from some of our other lessons in this unit. We have a do this, add two text input elements to the program, one for the name and one for the age of the user. Given your text input elements descriptive and meaningful IDs, in design mode, set their default text to prompt the user for their name and age. Compare your app to the example below. So here you have a name, a box, and put your age and your name and submit. This is a workspace project it looks like. We are going to be adding to this for the next couple of lessons. Sounds like a lot of fun. We have our name and age right there. And it looks like we have to put a text input box for each of these. We have some elements down here, and that looks like our text input right there. Let's drag this in over here. And a second one over here. When we click on the box here, we have text input one. Let's change this ID to text name. Our second one, let's do text age. Right now, it doesn't have any directions. If we look at our example here, it has a input your name, input your age. I think the placeholder part is what's gonna give that for us. So in our name, let's put input your name. It's coming up there. And for our age, input your age. Looking at these, the X direction here or X position here is 100. On our other one, it's 100, so it looks pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied how it looks. We don't have any code yet, and that's all that code.org really wanted us to do right now. We added two text input elements to the program. We gave the elements descriptive and meaningful IDs. And then in design mode, we set their default text to prompt the user for name and age. We compared it to the example, looks pretty close. I think that's all code.org wanted for us. Let's go ahead and hit run. We shouldn't be able to do anything right now. So even if I put my age in, I know my real age, still can't do anything. Probably gonna learn that on the next screen. Doesn't look like there's anything else to do, so let's move on to the next lesson. Good job, kids.